The Magic the Gathering set of all four Commander decks is available for pre-order now. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And no, God, no. 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 We must be living in an alternate dimension. We must be either atoning for our sins of our, of our fathers because no, Lionsgate, no, you don't want to do this. More Hunger Games and Twilight movies planned at Lionsgate. Now let's be bluntly real here for a second. We all knew this was going to happen. The movies are far too popular. Franchises need to be continued. There's no way they were just going to end after the four movies that they did of each franchise. And clearly Lionsgate dropped the ball with the Descendant or Divergent series. So they, they, they need to, 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 to pick it up. So why, why not do more of this kind of stuff that no one's asking for? Really, no one is asking for. Saying here, it's just been over two years since the Hunger Games franchise came to an end. But even before the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 hit theaters, Lionsgate CEO John Feltenheimer uh, teased that the studio is actively developing prequel and sequel ideas to continue the franchise. Uh, we haven't heard anything concrete on this front since then, but during an earnings conference call, uh, John Fettel, Feltenheimer again teased that the studio not only wants more Hunger Games movies, but more Twilight movies as well. He also seemed to indicate that these projects would not move forward unless the franchise creators are involved. Here's what he said, basically just, there's a lot more stories to be told and we're ready to tell them when our creators are ready to tell the stories. Now that's it, that one sentence, but that one sentence frightened me. It does. I, I've worked at movie theaters for all of these films. They're garbage. They are. They're, they're effectively garbage. Twilight far more than Hunger Games. Hunger Games had Catching Fire be good. The other three were not. The, 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 the directing on the first Hunger Games movie was god-awful. The third Hunger Games film, Mockingjay Part 1, was literally a movie that didn't even need to exist. You could have just, I don't know, taken maybe 20 minutes from, from Mockingjay Part 1, tacked it onto Mockingjay Part 2, and, and there, 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 there you go. Uh, the entire point of that film, of that movie was simply to make like a billion dollars. It was, it was nothing more than a cash grab from the studio. And I think that they realized it. I, I think fans realized it. Same thing went with Breaking Dawn Part 1 and Part 2. As if I really needed a, 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 more of that franchise. Once it came out that Jacob had, had imprinted himself onto uh, their daughter, uh, Isometrica, whatever the hell her name is, they it just it went really weird. Like, here's a werewolf who's like 19 looking at an infant going like, yeah, one day, one day, balls deep. Like, and they, they even showed off, like, that scene at, at, at like, Comic-Con. They showed off him, like, after he had in, imprinted upon resume, re, resume, resume, I'm calling her resume. It's not, it's not this, like, Rena Messi or something, but it sounds better to call her resume. Uh, and it just, it was kind of creepy to watch. But at the same time, going to Comic-Con in 2009, when they had the panel for New Moon, and that was, that was what created Hall H culture, by the way, is that first that first panel for Twilight, that New Moon panel from 2009, that's what's created the monster that is Hall H right now. So thanks a lot, Stephanie Meyer, you talentless hack. Um, but no, when 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 they showed a clip from New Moon where Jacob takes his shirt off because Bella, you know, the girl with the beer flavored nipples, fell and hurt her head, you hear like 1,500 girls all of a sudden simultaneously hit sexual awareness. You know, it's one of those situations where I was drunk on gin and tonic during that entire panel uh and it was a lot more fun that way because that's the only way you can get through twilight movies but here's the thing here's the thing will the original creators want to be on board well suzanne collins i don't think has done much since hunger games has come out she probably doesn't need to the movies the books and movies did very well does she have more stories to tell about the different the 13 districts and about the resistance and about katniss and everything because katniss's story basically kind of wrapped up with a nice neat little bow so we don't need to go back into that world but you could go back in to like you know the hunger games before that uh with like finnick or woody harrelson's character or even going back to how the hunger games were formed you know i could just imagine it now and i'm calling it now it's going to be called hunger games begins or something like that you know and like the second one will be like will the odds you know are the odds forever be in your favor with effie trinket or whatever that i don't know i don't, I don't know what they're going to do but the, i guarantee you they're going to call the first one they're going to call the first one Hunger Games Begins. Now, when it comes to Twilight, what stories could they tell? Well, they need to tell 
an Edward Cullen story, probably something about him becoming a vampire. You remember that scene from the first movie when it looks like uh, when he when he got turned, like he was actually like a 19 year old getting a blowjob. That's pretty much how like it looked at the time. So she that's the that's the the acting that Pattinson gave off. He's since gotten better since the first Twilight. Then again, you can't polish a turd. The material was crap. But they're probably, if anything, going to go back and try to rip off Fifty Shades of Grey's success, which was that uh, that novel Grey, which was, you know, again, a direct rip off of of the uh, was it M- M- Morning Dawn or whatever the hell it was or Morning Night or it was it was it was the first uh, it was a retelling of the first Twilight book. But from Edward's perspective, it got leaked online and everyone read it and saw that it was trash and Stephanie Meyer cried her way home to the delete button. Uh, but I guarantee you that is probably what they would do. They would probably would start with Twilight, that particular story, and see if they could then recast the uh, recast uh, everybody and just tell the same stories again. I wouldn't put it past Lionsgate at this point to do that. I wouldn't put it past them to recast everybody and then just retell the same stories but from edward's perspective because we got the bella perspective unfortunately from the first four movies now we get the edward perspective just with new actors because Lionsgate's really out of ideas like that that or they'll tell the story of him when he turned into a vampire and then like the first few days of him being a vampire any way you look at it it's going to be it's going to be edward centric or it's going to be jacob centric and talk more about the the wolves and that region and the battling of the vampires what you're looking at is probably going to be twilight a remake of underworld you know rise of the lichens is essentially what i think it's going to be uh in either case either either movie maybe the hunger games begin something i would check out but anything with twilight i'm done i'm done screw that noise i'm out the the the, the stuff is the stuff is not good it's just not it's just not it's just not good there are better young adult novels for them to adapt they screwed up with divergent they they tried doing the same thing breaking allegiant down into two films and it failed to connect with the box office because people don't want two film movies split up anymore very similar to how people don't want freaking 3d anymore and and now this is where things are so with any luck this won't happen with any luck susan collins and stephanie meyer stephanie meyer's off to other things now she may not feel the need to go back to what made her famous and i can only hope that she doesn't she looks at the story and go we've we've, we've told it we're done you know but then again whatever she's working on now which i think is like a, she's producing a tv show or something if that fails and that falls through and nothing else is coming up to dock it then yeah back to twilight she goes as for suzanne collins i have no idea i just hope she's smart enough from her days of writing clarissa explains it all to realize that you've got your money get out while it's still good but what do you guys think about this do you want to see more twilight movies or more hunger game movies let me know in the comments below also uh if you guys haven't already thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel check back pretty often for more movie news from me Uh, my name is matt jarbo this has been three buck theater i'll talk to you guys later have yourself a great day and peace out